uh, hi everyone so next important thing we are going to talk about is serverless offline right whenever we write any kind of application we always want that we should test it first on the local system and then only deploy it either the manual deployment of lambda or the sls deploy which we are doing right so serverless offline is a plugin which is available in the serverless what it does is it is helping you to invoke lambda locally even if you have written some test you can also execute those tests locally okay so forget about and don't worry about this code which is written it's just nothing but a simple template we have you can get these templates from the sls create command the main focus here is understanding these different features provided by serverless right so here is my serverless.yml and here i just need to add this plugin serverless offline okay serverless bundle is another plugin what it does is it uses the webpack to create the node.js package when you are writing a lot of code and additional libraries you are using like i'm using json web token bcrypt libraries and all the additional libraries then obviously we need webpack to create a bundle before actually send it to the uh, the serverless for the deployment so we can use serverless webpack serverless bundle serverless offline to make to enable our system to test these lambdas locally okay so i mean it's the same code just a three more just the plugins we have added and you can see a very basic function we have written we haven't talked about these events but lambda without events think about it we are writing lambda and then how do we invoke it we have to enable events what these events are nothing but a trigger right uh, lambda can be triggered from the http lambda can be triggered from the associated trigger like you write something to the s3 then lambda will be triggered or you are actually making an explicit call from the api gateway api gateways has map has a mapping with this lambda for http get forward slash hello then that lambda will be invoked right so this is the, the events mapping which we have created simple function now i want to test this right so what we can do is we first of all we have to add this serverless offline plugin and then add it in the serverless yml do npm install simple thing and then the next thing which we are going to do is let's execute this from here so we are in the restful and here we can see we'll just use the red readme file we have done the npm install how to use the serverless offline we can actually invoke the lambda using simple command this it is same as sls either you call it as sls or serverless okay and then we can also simulate this api gateway locally right uh, let's say I, I, I am hitting this lambda from the api gateway it's http get call if we can simulate the the actual thing then it would be awesome right we can actually create we can simulate this api gateway also using serverless offline start what it will does is it will actually helps us to trigger this lambda from some http endpoint right so serverless offline start what it will do is it will start it offline and we should be able to hit that endpoint then you can test it from the postman so think about it you have a dynamo db you have the lambdas and you want to, to test it locally how do you do it you can set up the uh, dynamo db also locally and then you should be able to expose these http resource like restful apis to some endpoint like something like this here i have like local host 3000 right and the endpoint is hello right so what you will do is you will just hit forward slash hello on to this particular path and you should be able to execute it so that's what the offline execution and offline testing of a particular lambda uh, there are some warnings but we can avoid it because we are not passing the the stage service because stage is required when you actually deploy a lambda stage can be your environment name like dev stage or production stage something like that so here and once you are ready then you can do the serverless deploy and then you can actually invoke and all these things here you can also do the testing npm test is actually a command what it is doing is you have written some particular test inside a test and it is nothing but it is actually 
calling that function and just executing it through that ha handler. We imported that handler and then handler dot hello we are just calling and executing it, right? So this is how we can make our application or serverless project production ready by introducing this serverless offline plugin, uh, introducing this webpack bundling and introducing enough test. So before we do SLS deploy, serverless deploy a function name, we should be able to test it even by simulating the API gateway. That's why this is important part here, serverless offline start. Because this is actually doing the same thing what API gateway will end up doing. It will expose your Lambda through some endpoint, right? Okay, uh, that's it in this video. Now our next target is write the code. Till now we are just using these templates, but write the code for uh, let's say an application which is using DynamoDB and some REST endpoints. Let's do that in the next video.